Computers are all around us and being able to create and code various apps and websites is becoming even more crucial these days. Computer programming, also known as coding, is basically using one or more languages like JavaScript or HTML5 to give a computer specific instructions on what to do. Code allows people to solve problems, create apps, operating systems, websites, and more. As the world around us becomes more technologically advanced, more people are learning about coding, even at a really early age. If you or someone you know is interested in coding, I want to share some great coding resources that you can use. The first resource I think is good for learning code is Scratch. Scratch uses block code to help people learn to code. If you're not familiar with block code, it's basically a group of computer commands that allows an action to be performed. For example, a motion block can contain several lines of code or instructions on how far an object should move in a certain direction like forward 20 spaces. Users can visually see the blocks and draw them into place. Users also have some ability to make changes to a block. Block code allows people to learn coding fundamentals without having to type any lines of code right away. Again, Scratch allows users to learn block code to help build programs. You can also view other people's code to see how someone may have made a specific project and what blocks of instruction they used. You can also use others code and remix it or essentially change some of the specifications. Note that if you republish any type of this work, you have to give the author credit. Scratch is geared for kids and teens from 8 to 16, but anyone can sign up. Scratch is available through the web and as an Android app. Note that if you use an Android app, Scratch will look slightly different than what I showed you in the website version. Another really good coding resource is called Code.org. Code.org is like Scratch in that you can use block code to build your program. Code.org has different levels for beginners and more advanced coders too. It has guided step-by-step -step lessons that teach you how to code. Also, there are some cool challenges that involve games like Minecraft or creating a dance party. Code.org is only available through the web. Tinker is another good resource to learn code. This program isn't free, but is a really good resource to consider. Just like Code.org and Scratch, it uses block code to help you learn. For more advanced users, it has an interactive tutorial for text-based coding in many coding languages like HTML5 and CSS. Text-based coding means you have to type the lines of code and use the proper syntax or structure. Tinker can be used for both younger and older kids. Individual plans for Tinker start at $7.50 per month. Tinker is available on the web and for iOS and Android. Another good coding resource is CodeSpark. CodeSpark is geared toward younger kids from the ages of 4 to 9. The website and app have an interactive user interface that also helps young children start learning the foundations of coding so they can apply these lessons later in their coding adventure. CodeSpark is a paid service that starts at $6.67 per month, and it can be used up to th for three children. It does have a seven-day free trial, so you can try that out first. CodeSpark is available for iOS and Android and can be accessed through the web. Finally, we have Khan Academy. Believe it or not, Khan Academy has content available that you can use to learn more about coding. The coding content on Khan Academy is geared for people that have some general experience in coding. There are tutorials where you can learn to code using JavaScript, HTML5, CSS, and even more advanced languages. The Khan Academy tutorials use text-based coding. Khan Academy is available on iOS and Android and can be accessed through their website. So now you know about five coding resources that can help you learn to code. Also, there are many websites that offer coding classes like Udemy, Skillshare, Coursera, and Code Academy. Keep those in mind as you're looking for resources. Thanks for joining me in the STEM Jared adventure. Please remember to drop a like and share this video and my channel with your family and friends. Also remember to check the video description for reference links for the content I talked about today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.